Hello everybody, it's me, RJ. How are you? I have another great book. Have you ever tried to do something and said, oh no, you shouldn't do that. That's for girls or that's for boys to do. You know, there's a lot of things that I like to do. I like to skip rope. I like to play football. I like to run. I like to play basketball. I like to dance too. So what happens when somebody tells you that you shouldn't do that? Well, just because they don't think you should do something that you enjoy, like dancing or playing basketball or skipping rope, doesn't mean you have to stop. So listen to this story about somebody going just through that. Somebody saying, you shouldn't do that. Enjoy. I'll talk to you on the other side. Hi, my name is Neville, and I'll be reading Black Boys Dance 2, Darnell Enters a Talent Show, written by Jamal Joseph and Adrian Turner. Today is the first day of school. Darnell wakes up and puts his clothes on, brushes his teeth, and goes downstairs. With so much excitement, Darnell rushes to the finish. Darnell rushes to finish his cereal. Slow down, son. Chew your food, his mother says with a laugh. I'm finished, Darnell shouts, and off to school he goes. Good morning, class. My name is Mrs. Smith. Welcome to the first day of school. Let's start with a game. Stand and say your name and tell us what, tell us when you are in the sun and what you do for fun. Darnell stands and says, my name is Darnell and I like to dance. There was a moment of silence and then he heard the class laugh. Ha, my mom says dancing is for, bo for girls. Boys do not swirl and twirl, the classmate shouts. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard in our classroom. We use positive words. Dancing is for girls and boys, Mrs. Smith says. After hours of learning, it's time for fun. Now, the time we all love, recess. Class, stand, push in your chairs, and line up quietly, Mrs. Smith says. Darnell did not understand why everyone laughed at him. Darnell thinks to himself, I guess I can try something new. Darnell sees a group of boys playing basketball and thinks to himself, I guess I can try something new. Can I play, Darnell asks. He dribbles, he shoots, he misses the shot. Air ball, the student laughed and shouted. The next day during recess, he tries football. Oh my, more laughs. Time to fit, trying to fit in was not working. As months went by, Darnell thought he would never make more friends. As time, as months went by, Darnell thought he would make more friends. Mom, Dad, why don't I fit in? Darnell asked. Well, Darnell, you have a gift, and you must use your gifts that are given, no matter what. We love you, and you are talented, his parents says. The next day of school, Darnell signs up for a talent show as a dancer. He practiced every, every day during recess. One day, a group of boys saw Darnell practicing. Hey, that's cool. I like to dance too, but we were making fun of you. Can you show us? With the biggest smile, Darnell says, yes. Come on, I have a better idea. Join me for the talent show. The boys practice every day until the show. Okay, class. Tonight is the talent show. Come on to cheer on your fellow classmates, Mrs. Smith says. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the school talent show. The show begins. Darnell hears the announcements and the crowds cheering, singing, and instruments. Finally, it was his turn. Darnell and his friends get on the stage. The music comes on, step, touch, step, touch, kick, spin, turn, and jump. The crowd shouts, Darnell, Darnell, with a round of applause. Now, 
the moment everyone's been waiting for. This year's first place goes to, drum roll please, Darnell and his dance crew. The crowd goes wild as Darnell grabs the trophy and looks at his parents and smiles. Any words you'd like to say, Darnell? Mrs. Smith asks. Darnell grabs the mic and proudly says, yes, we are young, black boys, talented, and we are dancers. Thank you for listening to Black Boys Dance 2. Darnell enters the college. See, wasn't that a great book? You know, there are football players that take ballet class. You might think that's funny, but it helps them become flexible and move better and quicker on the football field. So don't make fun of anybody who wants to dance because they're doing it because they want to and you can do whatever you want to. So think about that the next time you see somebody doing something that you've never tried. So try it, maybe you'll like to do it too. So until next time, happy reading. This is RJ saying bye.